Hello, Ilian here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the different modes that the Mesh Central server can run in. That is the LAN mode, the WAN mode, and of course, the in-between hybrid mode. So let's take a look at this right now. So Mesh Central has different mode of operations depending on the situation that it's in. The first mode and the default one is the LAN mode, and that is basically when you start running Mesh Central at the beginning, and then you can upgrade Mesh Central to hybrid and WAN mode. So let's take a look at that. First of all, I am going to go to my trusty uh, developer server here, and if you see that I run my server from the command line, you'll see that it runs and has a specific server version. And in my case, it says that it is in hybrid mode. So it's in WAN plus LAN, uh, WAN plus LAN mode. And so let's take a look at this picture here that I made of the two different modes. Now, the default is the one on the right, LAN mode. In that case, the server does not have a fixed DNS or IP address. The server is a normal computer. It could be a laptop. It could be any home computer you have. You install Mesh Central on it. And then uh, when you start installing the agents, the agents don't know and are not given any IP address or um, or DHCP name to connect to the server. What they are given is the hash or the server ID for your server. So basically the certificate of the server. And so what they'll do is they'll multicast that hash, find the server that responds to that identifier and then connect to that one. So obviously the multicast can only happen on the local network or on a larger corporate network, but it cannot happen over the internet. Now, the, the nice thing, obviously, of that mode is that you don't need to set up a DHCP uh, or DNS name. You don't need to set up a static IP address. So any computer on your local network will work. You can set up all the agents on your local network, and it will just work even if the IP address has changed in the future. So that's a really good benefit. The other one is that the server can initiate connections to local devices. So for example, if you have Intel EMT, or if you try to wake up a computer, normally you would only uh, have the agents send a wake on LAN packet, but if you're in LAN mode, all, the server also sends a wake on LAN packet. So if you install the server on a local network and you have one machine that's sleeping and you go on the website and you say wake, the server will send a wake on LAN packet and wake up that machine on the local network. So that's really nice. Um, there's a lot of uses for that mode. If you're uh, in a small lab environment, you have a bunch of servers maybe that you're managing, or you, you have a, a small household or a small business, and you're not really concerned about managing over the internet, you just want to manage a bunch of machines in a server room or something like that, LAN mode is a great way to go. And as you, you know, unplug things and change addresses and stuff, it, it's kind of resistant to any network changes. So that's great. Now, the problem obviously is that it won't work over the internet. If you set up Mesh Central, um, you know, on a, on a large server that's available uh, online, then you want to really go to WAN mode. Now, WAN mode, you need a static known uh, DNS name for the agents to connect to. And so what you'll do is you'll set up the server with a DNS name. All the agents, when they're set up, will figure out uh, we'll know what the URI of the server is, they'll connect to that server and everything will work. In WAN mode, the server cannot reach out to any of the devices. It won't send wake on LAN packets on its own. So obviously it behaves like a internet server, not a, a LAN server. So now how do I switch between the different modes? So I have here, a fairly sophisticated setup file for my server. Now, obviously, this is my developer server, so I have a lot of settings here, database and stuff. But the three only lines, the three lines I want to focus on are the three first ones, which is the cert, which has a name here, 
and then the LAN only and WAN only keys. Those are the three things we need to worry about for this video today. The cert, by default, this will have an underscore underneath and the server will have no name and so the server will be in LAN mode. If you Un you uncomment the underscore, so you, you activate this key and you put your DNS name, then the server will transition from LAN mode to hybrid mode because it's still kind of in LAN mode, but it has a static, you know, has a name now. So it can use that name to have agents connect to it. So now it's in a hybrid mode. And then if you want to go to WAN mode, you, you remove the underscore from the, this uh, WAN only key and then the server will be in WAN mode. So I'm going to save this configuration and I'm going to do control C, run it again. And now what you'll see is that I am now in WAN mode right here. Now, one easy way to tell, I'm going to go back to hybrid and I'm going to show you one easy way to tell if your server is running uh, in LAN mode or WAN mode uh, from the website. So I'm going to pop up my website again for, for my server and I'm going to click on any machine and what you'll notice is that if you're in LAN or hybrid mode, you'll have this field called hostname and hostname is basically the best available address to connect to that given device on the local network. So, you know, as agents connect and disconnect and so on, this may change, but this is the, the server's best uh, idea or best guess as to where it would have to connect on the local network to connect to this machine. Now, obviously, if you're in WAN mode, this makes no sense. You, you don't want to keep track of a local IP address on a local network. So what I'm going to do is switch my configuration to WAN only mode. I'm going to restart the server. And if you guys don't know, the web page here is going to auto retry. Boom, I'm back in. And now because I'm in WAN mode, the host name is no longer there. In addition, like I said earlier, when you click on actions, the wake up action here in WAN mode won't have the server send the wake on LAN packet. And there's other changes like with, if you have AMT, then obviously in WAN mode, the, the server will not try to initiate connections to AMT devices. AMT devices will have to be set up to connect to the server. Anyway, so this is the, um, this is, the basics of, uh, of WAN mode, LAN mode, and hybrid mode, and how you can use the server in those two different situations, whether it's on the local network or uh, on the internet. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.